It's an exciting day over here at Run Diffusion as we are launching Comfy UI as a platform available for use. Yes, that's right. Pull up your favorite chair, get some pillows, get comfortable because Comfy is coming to Run Diffusion. Comfy is a powerful modular node based stable diffusion workflow. It's got some really unique features. I know people are going to make some incredible things with it. Uh, I'll just walk you through kind of getting started with it. We'll be doing a lot more educational materials on this later. Um, this is just to get you going. So the first thing you want to do is come over here uh, into Run Diffusion, choose Comfy as your app. Uh, we would recommend starting with uh, medium hardware, but any of them should work. And go ahead and um, launch a session. Uh, if you have Creators Club, this will, of course, uh, use your Creators Club storage for the outputs of them, which you can then take to load into automatic, um, shared as well. Uh, just know that you can move between different platforms. Um, so you could generate in Comfy, upscale in automatic, do in painting, anything you need. You know, that's the power of uh, Run Diffusion. We let you choose which platforms you want and get it booted and running for you. So let's boot up a session and we'll jump back in and I'll show you how to uh, set up some workflows and get some generations going. All right, so this is what you'll see when you boot a session. Um, let's go ahead and get things rolling so you can have some workflows and get generating. Um, first thing is the file browser will show up on the side. Just hit dismiss. You can close this for now. I'm using this button on the top here. This will give you more space to work. Now you'll start to see these wires in the background, but we've come up with a really simple way to get you going. Um, that should be pretty easy. So hit this drag and drop workflows button and that will launch up our web page. And on it, you're gonna see um, some information about it. You'll see some example workflows. And there's two workflows here that we recommend. Here's a little GIF showing you what you need to do. In order to do this, you're going to basically download an image that you like and then drag and drop it right into um, the Comfy browser and that will load that workflow. It's a really genius way to very quickly um, get up and running because you see something you like, you drag it into Comfy and then you can start generating with it right away. You can see we've got some Marvel characters here, Ice Spider-Man, um, you know, Fire, Iron Man, Volcano Iron Man, etc. And these all come from the different workflows. So what we started with is the Surge workflow. Let's start there. And let's take uh, Barbie Iron Man here. We're going to right click, save image. That'll pop this up. We'll just save it to our desktop for now. Okay. And now we just need to go back to our um, comfy page. So we'll get back here. And we'll full screen again. There we go. Okay, so we'll dismiss this. Now, the scroll wheel is how I'm just going to scroll in and out. And you can see all the different nodes. I know it uh, looks a little complex at first, but believe me, it's going to be very simple. Um, this will just clear the workspace and start fresh. You don't need to do this necessarily, but it's always good. If you want to clear that workflow, get a fresh working space. Now, I'm going to go in here and choose our image that we downloaded and just drag and drop. Here's Barbie Iron Man. I'm bringing it over. See, it says copy on there, let go and boom, there's that workflow. So it's a very quick, easy way to try out new workflows. You can also um, drag and drop the JSON files. If you find another workflow that you like, it's saved as a JSON file. So those are very easy to just drag and drop as well. All right. Well, first things first, um, you know, there's a lot here. So let's just focus on what's important. If you zoom in a little bit, you can see you've got the prompts here. And this has it split out as a subject prompt and a style prompt. SDXL has two different text encoders. Um, so just know that this is the way that this workflow is interpreting your prompt. Um, and you can see you've got Iron Man with beautiful Barbie details in here. Um, this is going to make the image, the style is giving a little bit of the background, 8K resolution, et cetera, the colorful part. Um, and then there's a negative prompt down here. Here is where we have the seed and steps, CFG, other things you might be familiar with. So if you hit Q prompt, that will start uh, a generation. So I'll hit it now. 
And what you'll first see is it's going to load in a model. So if we zoom out a little bit up here, it's got the checkpoints and this is loading in that base 1.0 model. Um, and when there's a green box around a node, that means that that node is currently active and processing. So now you see it's loading the refiner as it goes through that step. There's a little bit of uh, notes on here as well. You can see um, the creator of this workflow has included some information. So we're just going to let this work its way through kind of like a, a pinball going through a pinball machine or Rube Goldberg machine. If you've seen one of those, it's pretty fun to watch as it goes through. This sampler piece has a lot of the um, collected different nodes. It's putting them together into one place. And you can see here the sampler DPMP. It's very similar to like Euler Ancestral, um, other samplers that you might be used to from using different systems like automatic. So here's a progress bar as it's working its way through the sampler. And then it's going to decode and come down here and get saved. So just wait as it winds its way through the system. And there's our Barbie Iron Man. Very cool. All right. So um, if we go back over here to the very beginning, we can see the image popped up. If we wanted to get, you know, Barbie Iron Man, change things a little bit, it's important to note that the seed here, um, this is the seed that got that exact image from our website. And you can choose here to make a fixed seed if you wanted to keep generating with that seed or randomize. We'll randomize here and try a different one and go again and queue it up. Now, if we wanted to, you can just hit, hit Q prompt a bunch of times. You know, let's do that now while we're going through and you'll see the actual queue here. If you hit view queue you can see that we currently have this one running it's going through the second one is pending um, and if we wanted to we could clear that queue let's get one through first so we can see another one on a randomized seed there's our barbie all right tony stark in a barbie world this one's beautiful so um know that you have the capability to go deep or you know, just stay and generate with it. I'll show you another example of a workflow. So what we'll do here is we will clear this workspace. Oh, actually one other thing I wanna point out, um, history is here. So you can see all the different generations. And if I wanted to, I'd be like, oh, I really liked that first one. I wanna try it again. You just hit load, it will run through and do that same generation with that same seed. So you can always come back to a previous generation if you want. So let's clear this again. And we are going to go to the website again, the workflows website. This time though, uh, we did the surge one, which is great. It has incredible generations from it, but let's try this other workflow so we can see how it works. Um, I'm liking this ice Spider-Man here. I right click, hit save. One nice thing is both of these have upscalers uh, in them. So um, you can get very high quality images. I will go back to the session here and uh, let's drag and drop that image in of the ice Spider-Man and load the Saitan workflow. There it is. Sometimes you got to zoom out, uh, move around the workspace here as it will load in. So this one is, you'll notice it's a little bit more compact. Um, they have some basic guides on the left-hand side for how to prompt, which is really important. Um, with SDXL, you can get um, very natural with how you write things. Um, you can just like literally describe it. You don't need to get uh, very like, um, you don't need to think in tokens or anything to do that. So you can see here, we've got Ice Spider-Man supporting terms is sort of how it's doing style in this, in this version. And then over here, it has all the image um, settings. Let's get that running right now. So we've got 25 steps. You can see it's doing 458 as the seed. And, but it, after each one, it will go up by one. And then this one has a uh, scoring system, which is pretty unique um, to the SDXL, where there's actually like a aesthetic scorer, which will sort of determine if the image um, matched, uh, you know, an aesthetic 
uh, rating system. Um, so you can mess with these settings if you want, just by clicking on them, you can change the number to what you would like and try different settings um, down here as well on this workflow. Yep, just moved a note here. We can just put it right back in its place. Click, very easy. There's the frozen Spider-Man. So you can see down here, we've got the models that it loaded and then moving over here, there's an upscale node. So we'll just choose one here and we can get it upscaled as we want. There's a refiner pass, base pass. One thing that I will note that's unique about this is there's a contrast fix. So you can change the contrast here. Um, and there's additional notes about how to use this workflow best. So um, try them both, find out which one you like. Let's do a different generation um, with a different seed and see what we can get Ice Spider-Man looking like in 2048 um, pixels and 2048 the year. So let's just do a random seed. Just type something in and hit Q prompt again. And it's going to go moving through <clears throat> in this workflow. It's going from left to right. You can see all the settings here for the refiner pass as it goes through. I like this one. It's like his hand is like mutating into ice crystals. Very cool. And now it's upscaling. You can see it working through the upscaling pass here. We're going to get a much larger image here. If you want to try using different models, um, very easy to do. So just go over to that model loading node over here. And if you click, then you'll see all the models available to you on this. Um, at the top, you'll notice um, we have the run diffusion models, but um, SDXL models are in here as well. So just scroll down and you'll find them right there. All right, let's see our next generation. Awesome. Love the like glowing quality to it. And now that one's getting upscaled. So cool. Try out some different workflows. Try the ones we have on our website. Find out the ones that you like the best. Uh, scroll down and there's just a ton of different ones in here that you can use. Um, yeah, lots of lots of different characters and uh, try some prompts, some different prompts, see what you like best. I think that there's just so much capability just in these two workflows, and it's a good place to get started um, because it gives you like a good overview of the w methods to prompt with SDXL. And then as you feel more comfortable, try different workflows, try maybe creating your own and see what, it, what you come up with. If you find uh, some workflows you like or you generate your own workflows, please uh, go on over to our Discord share them. We'd love to see what you create. All right. We've got more training for comfy and other stuff's coming. Stay tuned uh, as we've got lots more coming from behind the scenes with run diffusion. Thanks and stay comfy.